eScraper Service Overview Do you need to import products from some site into WooCommerce, and you don't have these products in the file? Use eScraper to extract the data and get a perfect file that you can upload to WooCommerce directly. Today I will show you how to request data scraping from the site and import the file into WooCommerce without any additional modifications. So let's begin with extracting necessary data from a website. For that, I will use eScraper. Find the link to the service in the description below. Click the free scrap to request a free file. Specify the website in the site to scrape field. List the fields that you need to upload to your store like product name, price, image, description, or type all to get all possible data. Specify your email address where a sample scraped data should be sent to. Accept personal data processing and hit send to submit your request. You will receive a free test file with 100 lines via email. Alternatively, you can download it right from the website here. It may take a few hours to get the sample file. I have got one already so let's check the file right now. In the email I can see the price estimate for the full service. Also, the file with the free 100 lines is attached to the email. Let's open it to check the data. As you can see, the file contains not only the scraped data, it also includes the columns required by the native import tool. This is what is called the import native file. You don't have to make any adjustments and can import the file flawlessly into WooCommerce. Close the file without any adjustments. Let's see import in action. I will open my test WooCommerce admin now. Here you can see the products tab. I do not have any products this far. Also, I've deleted sample products, so the site is empty now. Navigate to the default import tool to upload products from the file. Go to tools menu, import, WooCommerce products import, and select run importer. Upload the file. Press continue. See the mapping. It should be done automatically as our file perfectly fits WooCommerce format. Run the importer and wait while import is done. It is important to mention that native import shows errors quite often. You might see those in the log after import. Errors can be related to file size, images, use an article in the description below to find possible solutions. Meanwhile, as you can see, all the products were uploaded successfully. Now let's check the products. We can see all of them here. Also, when we go to the product edit, we will see all data there, including name, description, price, inventory, custom product attributes, and other data. Let's check the product on our WooCommerce site now. Here you can see my new products imported including image and all data. If the result is perfect, you can go ahead and order the full service according to the price estimate offered in the email. Once the order is placed, you will get a complete file with all the data ready to be imported the same way. Now you know what is the best way to import all products from any site with the scraping service. Hope this video was helpful and waiting for your questions in the comments section.